We have many a fond memory on the shores of Breaking Point. I like to think of it as the county's caper capital, its hijinkery hotspot for the shenanigan and hanging lot. The last time I was there, I saw a beach ball shaped like a lemon. Ha! If you can imagine such a thing, what will they think of next? Visitors should be checked in and then removed immediately. questions. No, I've not seen your frog. are reminded that some of you are doing better than others. Sir Nigel Bickleworth. Cheers, cheers! On Two Point Radio, forget what you are doing and give in to the saccharine melodies of my voice. I am Sir Nigel Bickleworth, and you may not know it, but you've just made a wonderful decision. The finest radio show in town, coming right up. is in your hands, partly.
don't know where your class is, is it really worth going? to be inspirational. Students are reminded that this is the fun part. This week on Sir Nigel Reviews, we'll be talking about a modern beat combo, a group that call themselves the Helium Baboons. I must admit, while it may not be my usual cup of beef tea, for contemporary mindlessness, and that's what this is, it was not as bad as most of today's dirge and drivel. Helium baboons. Not as bad as I feared they would be. Two shrugs out of a possible five.
students are reminded to find themselves. <laughs> It's time for Spill the Tea, where we take some finely dried hearsay from our shameless county and strain it for all the precious nectar we can. Education Minister Tarquin Foxbridge is under scrutiny for describing Two Point's youth as ambitionless nitwits, and I can see why. I can only hope that it's an abridged form of the full quotation. It would be remiss of him to forget that they are also loud, foolhardy, crass, smelly, and generally hopeless. Now taking students for money wangling. to be nice to each other. If you aren't, who else will? disappointment. At Jumbo, we know it's our employees that are the big deal. That's why they get the Jumbo treatment. Mobile stationery, toilet substitute, sip of milk, leg rooms, dental surgeries, additional headrest, Ooh. and our famous data system analysis training program system. Or FDAP Staps. I'm Jumbo McNally, and I wish I worked here.
reminded that you're letting everyone down. are reminded that school spirit is infectious. Go us! And now, for the results of last week's sonnet writing competition. I must say I was appalled, if not surprised. They were lacking structure, they were lacking soul. Some of you wouldn't know an I am from a dactyl. We'll be rolling the competition on to next week, so send in your sonnets. They can't get any worse. Would visitors please leave soon? Thank you. are reminded that there's no such thing as free time. Thank you. 
My respect for those that choose chivalric and knightly pursuits. Well, it's really very large. The Bickleworths, after all, come from a rich and prestigious line of people on and near horses. That being said, feudal aristocracy use their hands far too much for my liking. The swordsmanship, the adventuring. Have you ever held a lance? It's a chore. If you're so important, why are you doing all that work? Rule smarter, not harder. The administrator is reminded to stay hydrated. Milkshakes are not an appropriate breakfast. Tuition fees are expensive, and education is priceless. questions. No, I will not be your friend. It seems that Agatha Sphere and the Orb Foundation are targeting the county's colleges in an attempt to appeal to a younger demographic. Those orb-happy loons must be subdued at all cost. But wasting their time in trying to brainwash our brainless students seems like a terrific diversion. I'm so glad we've found a use for our horde of unwashed undergraduates. Students are reminded to make us proud, or else.
so stupid. And now for the segment we call Agony Answers. You provide the agony and I'll provide the answers. This week's problem is from Helpless in Hogsport. I'm stuck in my bathroom. I think the doorknob fell off. What should I do? Well, I'd start by contacting someone under less anonymous circumstances. Perhaps a friend or the local authorities. Best of luck and so on. Staff are reminded that dogs don't eat homework.
frequently asked questions. No, you can't have an extension. Sorry for the litter than you. Oh, sorry, that's mine. Listening to Campus Radio, the sound of student life in Two Point County. I'm Felicity Bellbottoms. Now, everyone has been talking about the campus supermarket and their brand new frozen treats, but we'll be wading through the fudge to look at the story of two students crushed under the weight of free toppings. Stick around. Janitor required in lecture theatre. you hadn't noticed. Starting soon. Was there anything we wanted to do? Enjoy your summer. I know I will. The yearly results are in. Wow. Didn't we do well? is non-refundable.
There's growing concern about the flowers on campus this autumn. Where have they gone? Why aren't they here anymore? Didn't there used to be flowers over there? These are just some of the many questions posed by concerned, botanically inclined students. Pinned for comment, the lead groundskeeper referenced the seasons. The academic year is starting. I hope you have a pencil. You students should make a good first impression. No pressure. story of two students who are finding news of the campus supermarket's new ice creams difficult to swallow. That's right, Ben and Sarah used to go out to the green, their hearts full of gumption, their cool box full of lollies. But it's not been the same since campus supermarket opened its Sunday bar and shaved ice station. They were just a couple of students looking to make some honest money in the harsh summer heat. But business has cooled off lately. As for the lollies, well, they're melting now. Spare a thought for them the next time you're enjoying a fudge sundae buy one get one free all day, Wednesday, at the campus supermarket. Fliss, back to you. Showering is technically but not socially optional.
New to the Crumley Student Range, Chicken Stompers. Take the smoothest natural chicken matter from Crumley Farm's boneless chickens, add our secret seasoning and a touch of traditional stabilizing agent and stamp. You've got Crumley's Chicken Stompers, breaded for palatability. They really could be anything. Mmm, just like mum I used to make. Janitor required in bathroom. University gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt. from us here at Campus Radio. Just a reminder that if you have any interest in getting involved at the station, please do reach out. There really is a lot of airtime to fill and try as we might, we just can't fill it all. We're open to news reports, reviews and opinion pieces. Really just anything that will take up some dead air. Good night. Students are reminded that I'm not your mum.
was talking on campus. Thank you. are responsible for, well, for a lot actually. Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. 
Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Today, I balance two hats jauntily on my one singular head. My regular disc jockeying hat is joined by my occasional chef hat. Yes, I'll be taking you all over Two Point County as I recount my latest culinary travels when I set out to find the finest foods our great county has to offer. Just a hungry man and his hatchback. It's a tale as old as time. Announcement. Cheating is the wrong kind of clever. The culinary world is a lot like the real world. There are places, there are smells, there's a chance you'll get lost. After a series of wrong turns, now 60 miles off course, I was treated to the first food of my trip. A wandering puffed pastry and something I believe to be meat. The buttery sausage-style matter mingled playfully with hints of pine from my air freshener. It was unexpected. It was dangerous. It was cold in the middle. If you hear this, please drink some water. Thank you.
on your assignments if you think you have time. Stupid questions will make you look stupid. If you ask me, Hogsport boasts the finest milkshakes in Two Point County. At the Oily Cormorant, they'll serve you a traditional malt in an old leather boot and throw in a salt and vinegar egg. You just cannot beat it. Milkshakes are a great tradition. They're in our blood. In fact, I once received medical attention after enjoying a few dozen shakes and was told that my blood was over 60% ice cream. How <laughs> we laughed. <sighs> Plagiarism is not a belief system. are reminded to figure it out themselves.
Hi, I'm Jumbo McNally, and at Jumbo University, every instructor is handpicked by someone that was handpicked by someone that I handpicked. That's the Jumbo Touch. Jumbo University, be your biggest self. Janitor required for groundskeeping. Thank you. The end of year results have been released. Luck won't help you now. Summer break would be a convenient time for construction. The academic year is over. Students must vacate the campus. Announcement. The timetable is now live. Students should check in before trying to learn. Questions? Yes. Classes are technically optional, and so is failing. Huge fan of Yeti cuisine. Yes, our neighbors to the north really know their way around a kitchen. From stews and pickles to five tiered sandwiches, and of course, their pies. Cold hands make the boldest pastry, after all, and it is freezing up there. You really must try it. It's the food of the people, and those people are Yetis.
unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me. I was famished when I arrived at the Royal Tumble Hotel. So much so that I took advantage of my kitchenette and feasted greedily on some toast. When I returned from a walk, I was stunned to find that all crumbage had been decrumbled. The bed was made and the toilet spotless. Every sign of life had been washed away. You've got to ask yourself, had I really been staying here? Indeed, do I exist at all? Lovely stuff! Frequently asked questions. You can find the bathroom yourself. I believe in you. Questions. Your food is cold because the oven wasn't on. Administrative bonuses.
This trip was all about regional delights and cultural differences. One man's casual volavol is another's world-shattering epiphany. The people of Smogley have been crusting and dusting their fish for as long as anyone can remember. But at the recently opened What's the Batter, they use a unique cheesy gubbin crumb. Ho oh, ho ho ho! I can safely say that it was the cheesiest fish this DJ had ever eaten. <laughs> That's a winner! Frequently asked questions. No, I wasn't listening. Shouldn't you be working? If it's not on your CV, it didn't happen. Not to me. Unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me. I hope you enjoyed today's show as much as I enjoyed my trip around this wonderful, mysterious county of ours. But for now, all of this talk about food has made me hungry. So I'm off to the fridge to take out the first thing I find and cover it in mayonnaise. Until next time, I've been Ricky Hawthorne. Cheers!
a test announcement, not a real announcement. Drink some water. Thank you. Sorry, that's mine.
This is Felicity Bellbottoms and you're listening to Campus Radio, where we do all the work for none of the pay. We've got a great show for you, but first, here's some music. Students are reminded to figure it out themselves. Student, it can be hard to find time for, well, everything. Here's Maggie with a tip for getting things done. Multitasking is great. I don't know what I'd do without it. Sometimes I'm there writing an essay while listening to a recorded lecture and covering an event for campus radio, and it just dawns on me. If multitasking wasn't so great, this would all be a bit much. Thanks, multitasking. Janet needed to unlock toilets. Lovely.
skin should not be pink. We are approaching the end of the academic year. Try not to worry. Some of you are doing better than others. The end of year results have been released. Luck won't help you now. And now, the story of a teaching hospital and some missing bones. Here at the teaching hospital in Mitten, students look forward to a long and healthy life in medicine. But while they were sleeping, with visions of crutches and pharmaceutical machinery in their heads, their teaching skeletons went missing. They've tried making their own skeletons out of wire, toothpicks, and toilet paper, but sadly, they're 39 bones short and don't know what they're missing. For now, their education and the future of healthcare in our county is looking boneless and a little limp. Fliss, back to you. Enjoy your summer. I know I will. The summer is a good time to relax and prepare for next year. The campus is expanding, even more than usual. your assignments if you think you have time.
is are reminded to try and keep up. Cheesy gubbins are back. Where did they go? Nowhere. <laughs> cheesy gubbins. <laughs> the only thing you can count on. Education is non-refundable. The timetable is not written in stone. Still, we're not changing it. You students should make a good first impression. No pressure. Now taking students for money waggling. is not a belief system.
Thanks for joining us on Campus Radio. If anyone from Two Point Radio is listening in or has received my emails, I graduate next year and will be available for paid or unpaid roles at your station. Thanks. Your future is in your hands, partly. Thank <laughs> you.